Alright, I'm back with my CD reviews now. We're going to start these. Here we have Let It Be, Naked. This is the stripped down version without all the orchestration and other stuff that was in the original album. <coughs> it also has a second disc with rehearsals for these songs that were going to be on the album. It's a very good album. If you're a Beatles fan, you might want to pick this. If you've never heard of the Beatles, this might be their best album to pick up or pick up love. Move it down, steal this album. This has outtakes on it. I'd say about half the CD is pretty good. And there's two or three uh, acoustic songs on the end that are pretty nice too. Green Day 1039 slapped out, ha smooth out, happy hours, slappy hours. <laughs> That's a real tongue twister. This is just um, a couple of Green Day's early EPs, and so the songs are kind of raw, but that that's what they were known for in the early days, even when they were on their uh, major label. Their first couple albums, those are the ones I enjoy the most. The new stuff is not to my liking. Bootleg, no one wants to see that. Alright, this is the granddaddy of all live releases. <coughs> Metallica Live Shit, Binge and Purge. You have two CDs here, I believe, and two DVDs. There we go. And this is kind of hard to close properly and even open. And you get some little goodies here. I actually have the VHS tapes from this. Also, there you got your snake paid paths. Somewhere in here there's this stencil guy. I'm not going to show that because it's pretty fragile. It's falling apart. And the two DVDs. One has their 1989 concert in Seattle and the other is in San Diego, I believe. From 1992. Bob Dylan Alive, 1975. This is the official bootleg series. Uh, the Rolling Thunder Revenue Tour. This was a very good tour by Mr. Dylan. He was also he was always known to change up his music. And one of my favorite artists right now. Pantera, Cowboys from Hell. This has some killer tracks in there. Most people would know Cowboys from Hell, Psycho Holiday, Cemetery Gates, Domination, and The Art of Shredding. Those are probably the number one songs in there that I listen to. Sublime Deluxe Edition. This just has their album with some original mixes of the songs that were actually taken out of the final mix. Um, then you have disc two, which is we got acoustic versions of songs, remixes, and alternate versions of songs. Let me show you this artwork here. Y'all probably not gonna be able to see that too well, but it's pretty sick. That was reminding me of like graffiti or something. I've never really taken a really good look at it, but I love it. And then you have this here. You gotta see this. That one's in there. There you go. Pretty sick way to live. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. Bad camera <coughs> angles. Then you got the band and the D Dalmatian Lou, who is actually in these some of these recordings. You can hear them in these alternate mixes a little bit better. Uh, this is really the only album I have. I think the rest I have downloaded. Bob Marley. This is the. Legend, Best of Bob Marley and the Wailers. This is the new remastered version of this album. You have songs like This Love, Buffalo Soldier, Could You Be Loved. Get Up, Stand Up, Stir It Up. Uh, I Shot the Sheriff, that's, that's a good cover of the song. Unless, yeah. Redemption Song, Satisfy My Soul, Exodus Jamming. And the bonus track I don't listen to. Huh. 
has a strange sticker on it. It says Legitimo. I guess this is this is actually an import version of this album. Right there is far before driven. Yeah, it sounds like strength beyond strength. Becoming five minutes alone. I'm broken. Slaughtered, shedding skin, use my third arm, and Planet Caravan, which is the cover song. George Carlin, AM and FM, this is, starts off as, you know, some clean jokes, like, kind of like 60s type jokes, I guess. And then it goes into more of his more raunchy stuff. I still haven't opened that. Uh, Corns. Like this Peachy album, this album's really good. Uh, it's probably their second best album they ever did. Something else I need to open. Oh, this is Move It Down, Toxic City. This is a great one. Another album I have not opened. Oh, uh, you got songs like Prison Song. Pretty much the whole album. I can personally listen to and enjoy it. Easy Top One Foot in the Blues. This is just a best of album, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. I'm not sure. Could be one of those compilations. I have another one. Box set. Pink Floyd, Pepper that Gets It Done. This is two disc. Uh, it has the mono, mono and stereo mixes of the album, and the mono album mix of the album actually has more instruments put into the each song that was not put in the stereo mix. They pretty much did what the Beatles did with some of their albums, also. So you're only getting the true album if you listen to the mono mixes. I enjoy both CDs. I don't listen to them too much. It's that acid trip out music. I'm not really fond of that. Since I don't do drugs. Bob Dylan, No Direction Home soundtrack. This is the Bootleg Series Volume 7. This has Bob Dylan's first song he did on a friend's tape recorder. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of home recordings here, demos, uh, alternate versions of songs, live songs. Uh, it pretty much just has the songs that are in the movie. And I have to get that. I'll be getting that. Well, I'll review that at another time. And you got Jimi Hendrix's Electric Ladyland. This is an awesome album. A definite must have for all fans. I also have the DVD making of this, which I might actually might watch tonight or this morning. Um, you got Metallica's Load. Uh, this is alright. This is pretty good. That's not their best. And you got Load. Bleach. Last Clown. George Cohn. Johnny Cash's. What is this? Unchained. Bob Dylan, 1964. Blood on the Tracks. Several Tour, Chaos, AD, and live in 1966. Bob Dylan. 